Today we take a look at what could potentially be the best and most useful set of armor on the game. An armor set that has 5 tiers, each tier better than the last. Today we take a look at why Crimson Armor is so good and compare it to its competitors. Crimson Armor is so, so versatile. It's useful in any Slayer that requires melee damage. It's also great against higher health mobs. Also, certain floors of Kudra. Also, one hitting tier 4 Enderman. You name it, honestly the list is endless. So this is the setup that I currently use. My helmet is 10 starred, it's tier 1 but it's 10 starred. My chest plate is 10 starred and hot, and the same for my leggings. And then for my boots I use Terra boots, so I don't use a full crimson setup, not many people do. Now for instance this helmet is currently tier 1, if I upgrade to tier 2, it will be buffed. When I upgrade to tier 3 it will be buffed again, tier 4 buffed again, and tier 5 buffed again. But even with relatively low tiers on this set, it's still substantially better than anything that competes with it. For instance, if we take a look at the chest plate and the leggings, it gives me plus 94.6 strength and plus 65 crit damage. And if we compare that to our Necron set, it's honestly very, very, very similar. Now, the massive benefit to having Crimson is the attributes you can put on it. So for instance, I have Dominance, which basically gives me more damage when I'm at full health, and Veteran, which gives me more combat wisdom, meaning that each time I kill a mob, I get more combat XP. Now, of course, the Dominance is going to help towards damage, and at the moment, you're not able to put attributes on pieces of armor like Necron. That may happen in the future, but at the moment, you can't. Now, the only situation where the Crimson would be worse than the Necron would be in dungeons. Necron's dungeonizable, and the Crimson isn't. Even if the Crimson armor was basic tier, not even upgraded at all, it would still be better and more worthwhile than Necron, other than in dungeons. Now, if we take an item like this Giant Sword, we use our Necron armor with a Tarantula helmet, and we deal around about 496k damage, around about 500k let's say. Now we switch out to our Crimson set, and now we're going to deal 501k damage. So, give or take, you know, your crim this Crimson set's dealing around about 2 or 3k more damage, which is minuscule. It's basically nothing. Now before we go any further, you should subscribe to the channel, become part of the 24%. Also you should join the Discord server, it's linked in the description of every single video. You see, everything changes when you go to hit a mob that you're not going to be able to kill in one hit. We're back in the Necron set and you can see we have a dummy on our private island. So if we hit them once with the giant sword, we're going to do 433k damage. The rest of the damage you see here is just fire aspect. Switch to the Crimson set. And now we hit. You can see it does double. You see it said 447k and 423k. That's almost 900k damage, which is around about double the damage of the Necron set. The one hit damage is very very similar but if we do it again you can see we're doing way way more damage pretty much double now the reason for this is a hidden ability on crimson armor now you can activate this ability you know wearing one one piece two pieces is ideal anything extra is a bonus as you can see every time i hit i'm essentially dealing double damage near enough the second the second hit does slightly less but it's pretty much double and before people say that's ferocity, it's definitely not, because it wasn't happening with the Necron set. Now, there are a couple of exceptions to this ability. For instance, if we come over to the ghosts, just kill one, and now, we, as you can see, we, we can pretty much one-tap consistently because of the double damage that we're dealing. However, if we come over to a ghost that's against the wall, as you can see, it's still alive, it didn't, it didn't kill in one hit. That's because, for some reason, this ability doesn't work if something's standing right up, up next to a wall. It's a little bit strange. So, in order to maximise your Crimson Armour, you need to be killing an enemy that's not near a wall, ideally in the middle of a room, or just away from a wall. Now, when you upgrade your Crimson through regular to hot, hot to burning, burning to fiery, then fiery to infernal, essentially what you're going to be doing there is increasing your one-hit damage. Of course, it's gonna your, your second hit is going to scale, like the, the second hit that it does is going to scale, um, but essentially all you're doing is upgrading that one-hit damage, really. Well, you might be thinking, well, okay, I'm not very progressed in Kudra. Um, you know, this armor looks pretty good. It's it's hot, which isn't really very good. It's only tier two. Like that is getting a hot crimson isn't too hard to get in actual fact. Now, in actual fact, I would argue that it's I don't know. It's almost more difficult to get Necron than it is for Crimson. So if you go to get a Necron set, first of all you've got to be combat 24. Now You've also got to be combat 24 to even enter the Crimson Isles. But that's besides the point. In order to benefit from the second, like, hidden ability hit, 
all you need is realistically two pieces of crimson armor. Now, a Necron, just one pair of Necron boots is 19.5 mil. And then if you take a look at crimson armor, okay, a crimson chest plate is 2.5 mil, and crimson leggings are 2.2 mil. So if you were to buy uh, crimson leggings and chest plate, it'd set you back around about five and a half to six mil. If you're on a budget, you can completely disregard the attributes. You just need the crimson. Of course, when you have more coins in the future and are wanting to upgrade your crimson, you can just sell it and buy better crimson and upgrade it from there. But as I was saying, one pair of Necron boots, just the boots alone, not the rest of the pieces of the armor, are almost 20 mil. Half a set of crimson, chest plate and leggings is five to six mil. It's a little bit of a no-brainer. You could argue that, well, if, if I don't buy a Necron set, then what if I want to do dungeons? I'm going to need a set to do dungeons, and that's fine. At that point, buy a Necron set as well. You only need like five mils worth of Crimson to actually benefit from the double hit. Now, I know this isn't news. I mean, a lot of people have known how good Crimson is for a long time now. I mean, Crimson's been out for a while, and people have been taking advantage of it. However, you know, I only recently made the switch to Crimson itself. I always used to just use a full Necron set and, and a tarantula helmet. And in all fairness, it's not bad. Quite expensive for what it is though. And it's not as good as Crimson. The main reason I actually got the Crimson was when I started doing revs. I've done a lot of revs recently. I've almost, I'm almost my fifth Warden Heart. I don't know. Um, sometimes I go to sleep and, and, and I just see Crypt Ghouls walking around in my dreams. I'm kidding, but I wouldn't be surprised. And you can do revs in, in Necron just fine. Like, absolutely no issue whatsoever. But my bosses now are ridiculously quicker with Crimson. I'm at the point where, you, where I can basically hit the boss once or twice and, it, and it's virtually dead. And like I said before, I mean, Crimson is so good for things like revs because, well, the boss has got, what, 10 million HP? And of course, you're not going to do 10 million damage in one hit unless you're insane. So Crimson is ridiculously good against bosses in general. So in my opinion, not only for late game players, but for early game players and basically for players at any stage in the game, Crimson and Necron, comparing them in terms of one hit damage are always going to be very similar crimson is way cheaper crimson can be upgraded into something way better than necron and um, crimson does more damage for the most part other than in dungeons now depending on in the future whether you're able to put attributes onto necron that might be a bit of a game changer but at the moment if you're on a budget and you're looking for a damaging set look no further than crimson you don't have to really think about the attributes for now it's just worth it Anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.